MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. And Jamie. And what's today's mission? Today we're going to be talking about marketing ideas. So, um, restaurant marketing ideas, uh, fresh ideas for 2016. Great. So we found an article on uh, FastCasual.com and the title is 10 Fresh Marketing Ideas for 2016. So, um, and some of these aren't so fresh, but I think that people need a, a refresher sure. the in the beginning of the year. Right. And now is the time to be scheduling and figuring out what your marketing plan is going to be for 2016. Right. So you need to start planning now, thinking about it, and then throughout the year. So what better time yep. to start than yep, the New Year? It's right around New Year. So yeah, but you can use this anytime. Even if you're not watching this at New Year's time, this is something for you to think about right. and implement ASAP. And sometimes you already are implementing this or you're doing small parts. They say, oh yeah, I need to do the next step of this. So, idea number three for 2016. Grow your customer review bank. Oh, so important. Your reputation can make or break your business. The sheer volume of reviews doesn't really matter. Instead, the number of positive reviews becomes your restaurant's lifeblood. Sites such as Yelp, Urban Spoon, and Zagat provide a medium for customers to express their likes and dislikes about your food, ambiance, and customer service. According to a survey conducted by the Dimensional Research, people who had a poor interaction were 50% more likely to share it on social media than those who had a good a computer. A computer experience <laughs> and 52% were more likely to share it on an online review site such as Yelp. Be sure to stay on top of your business's reputation by responding publicly to all reviews. You should also give your most loyal customers the ability to review your business on Yelp, increasing the likelihood that they'll leave a positive review. Exactly. So, this is fantastic because you have to... Well, we talk about this a lot. We talk about we this talk a lot. talk about reviews a lot and how they can hurt you and how they can help you. And the big thing is, you're, you, as a business owner, you need to solicit reviews. When a customer goes, oh my gosh, this is the best burger I've ever had, and you need to say, hey, would you mind, that's a great testimonial, would you mind putting that on Yelp or TripAdvisor? You can't go to customers and say, hey, I'll give you a $15 gift certificate to put a good no, review on. Not. That, that's not what we're talking about. Yeah. We're talking about when a customer honestly expresses to you, that this is a fantastic what meal, eat. whatever this and that, I love this wine, I love your selection of craft beer. You need to say, wow, you said that's so great, I'd like to use that in marketing, would you mind throwing that on a review site? Right. And that's how you do it. But really, our, again, back to our loyalty program, go to 50mistakes.com, get a free webinar on our loyalty program. Our loyalty program sends out question questionnaire, a survey at the end of the meal. And a lot of them do this now. You send out a, a, a survey at the end of the meal, they give you, customer gives you their feedback, the guest, you get guest feedback, and then you can communicate with that guest, like, oh, I'm sorry you didn't like this, we'll work on this, this or that, or you have all these, now you have a list of all these positive reviews, right? You have tons and tons of positive reviews. Well, now you can say, hey, would you mind throwing that on? Yelp or TripAdvisor. Yelp or TripAdvisor. Or... Would you mind sharing your experience online and that's simply what you're asking you're not again you're not bribing you're not saying I'm giving you you're points I'm not giving you a gift certificate you're not you're not looking to go to people and say hey I need a bed reviews can you go throw some reviews on that's not what it's about it's about getting people's honest feedback honest opinions an honest experience in your restaurant and when people get bad when people give you bad reviews you really need to communicate with them because you can turn things around we've had bad reviews where we've actually flipped it around and now they've become some really great customers so, really great guests. So yes. you can turn a bad situation into, into a, good, a good situation. Here's the biggest thing, Jamie, and we know this. People want to be heard. Absolutely. If somebody's going to post something or say something to you, write you an email, they want to be heard. Respond they might not to them. speak to you. It's easier to type and to read, right, with text messaging and all that stuff. No. It's easier to type type something than to actually pick up the phone and call. People would rather do that. That's how they want to be heard. Mm. So you need to respond back to them. And we agree that, that the whole review system is kind of biased because people can go on, they don't have to use their name. Right. There's no identity. Right. It's not like Facebook where you know who they are. Yelp and TripAdvisor, especially Yelp, you don't know who these people are. They can just say whatever they want and they can call you out in your name, the manager, the owner, the restaurant name, and you have no idea who this person is. So there's some legitimacy issues, but the reality is this is how you do business now and people look at this, so you have to. No matter if you agree with Yelp 
or traumatized, you, you have, have to, to address it, absolutely. and you have to work the system the best way you can.